What's up? I'm Richard, and this is I Am Dumb. I Am Dumb is an acronym that's D O B M. Diary of a Black Man. I'm a Black Man. This is my diary. We are finishing up, wrapping up. I'd like to say amazing, but I really can't find an appropriate word to explain how friendly shit the series has impacted the way I see myself and the people around me. Um, but more than anything, I can't get past myself. Man, the reason I haven't finished off this series is not because I don't have the information, but because I can't get past it at every level and every layer. It's revealing to me more and more the truth about myself and my relationships. Um, but I'm wrapping up now. I have to wrap it up because <laughs> I got to. I got to, right? <sighs> Friendly shit. It's really the concept of being interested in something or someone versus being investigated. We're gonna make this really quick because it's really simple. It's the idea of love versus everything else. Seems really simple or maybe complicated, but love, man. Love is, you know, it, right? That's what we're looking for, searching for, you know, the reason we, you know, are looking at the pretty girl, although we may be sexually inspired, really it's, we're looking for a love connection, right? Relationships with our parents, our friends, our family, the people that we call close to us, the people that we say are ride or die, family that'll be there forever, I love my people, are the people who are there in our times of need, but also share with us our celebrations. And this is so good, it's so good. But how do we choose those people? How do I, Richard Claiborne, choose those people? How do I select who are the people worthy of those things or who are the people showing me those things? Uh, there was a time in my life I picked my best friend based on that summer. Every summer I had a different best friend because this summer I was spending time in Albuquerque. So Ryan was my best friend and this summer I was at Claude Evans Park. So Mike Mal was my best friend and that summer I was singing in the choir. So Alexis was my best friend. Situational. Care and concern. I was a a kid, right? A child. It had nothing to do with what you had done or where you had been. It was, you were in my face. We were in this together. I am interested in you because we're interested in the same thing. Fast forward to the adult Richard. Adult Richard doesn't go on a job interview without first checking the company out. Adult Richard meets a pretty girl and the first thing she says is, hey, what's your Facebook? Adult Richard wants to know what you did. I wanna know where you have been and what you have been around before I invite you over to my house. Before I ask you on a date, I wanna know how many kids you got or what you got going on. See, because really, my concern is not who you are. It's do the things of your past, the things that you have done, stack up to the level of respectability that I deem okay to be in my area. I want to investigate your history. I want to investigate your past to protect my present. When you say it like that, that's not love. We live in a loveless generation. The information generation. A generation, generation of men and women, boys and girls, who are consumed with acquiring information. On your home or on your house, on your car, on your sneakers, you're consumed with absorbing information, good or bad. 
but that information doesn't help me better love you. That information doesn't help you better love me. It's a hard truth. In fact, that information only puts up a stronger wall, a higher wall. I guess if there's a lesson from I Am Dumb, the lesson for the end of friendly shit is I want to quit doing friendly shit. Information exchange has become friendly shit. Power, knowledge, friendly like shit. Shit that seems like the right thing to do. I would tell my daughter tomorrow, if she was of dating age, I'd say, baby girl, before you go out with this nigga, man, let's find out who his people is. Where he from? Let's see what he talking about. What has he done? Can we do a background search? I would say that as a concerned parent. But now I'm convicted because I pray not to be treated like that. I pray for the, the day, the moment in life where a person can look at you, where I can look at a person and say, yo, hi, I want to meet you right here. I want to love you right here because I may not know you tomorrow and I may not deal with you tomorrow. I may not see you later and I don't know everything that you're going through. And I know all humans and all people are complicated and I'm complicated. So just right now, hey, I guess if there's a lesson from I Am Done Today, the lesson, the lesson of my life again is I don't want to give you friendly like shit. I don't want to be your kind of friend. And I cannot have any kind of friends in my life. But either way, I'm just Richard. I'm certainly dumb.